All right, hello and welcome to this storm update. It's 1.30 a.m. on September 30th, 2020, and we got some heavy rain over New Jersey. Uh, looks like a special marine warning was issued. This seems to be heading um, northbound. I don't know why we're having problems with the radar loading. Uh, I'm getting like, that's it. That's all I'm getting. Uh, I'm not getting a loop. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, but we can't seem to get a radar loop. Let's try it here. That's that's working. Okay, so um, you can clearly see that the heavy rain will start moving into our area probably within the next couple of hours. Um, now, if we look at the lightning, um, I don't think there's too much lightning with this. I think this is just a... Uh, we'll take a look and see if there are any lightning strikes. There are not many lightning strikes uh, with these showers. Uh, but there is wind out here, so let's take a look at the wind. We've got wind gusts already, 25, 26 miles an hour. Some of the buoys reporting 27. We have one buoy here reporting a 34 mile an hour wind gust, and a south wind to 25, gusting to 37, to th uh, gusting to 34. Wave height 4.9. This buoy out here is a little further out, it's reporting wind wave height of 5.6. Uh, and this will continue to ramp up through the night. We've got a 30 mile an hour wind gust at Farmingdale. Uh, as well, so um, the winds are ramping up, uh, and again, we've got this wind advisory in effect. As far as power outages go, it's not a huge impact. Uh, JCPNL has 2,762 PSCG Long Island has only 397, but these numbers are going to go up uh, as the wind continues uh, to get worse uh, as tonight goes on. Um, let's go and look at... Uh, Throw the dew point in here too while we're at it. So dew points up there, 72, 70. Very muggy, very tropical air coming down up uh, in this low-level jet. Um, and uh, you can see uh, in some of these areas the winds are starting to gust, and they will and they will get worse as the evening goes on. So let's uh, just look at the latest tropical tidbits here, as far as the models go. Uh, we'll go back into our area. We're just going to look at the higher resolution models right now, the HRRR and the NAM 3 kilometer. Uh, so uh, here is uh, the HRRR. Again, bringing that rain in. We finish up. We have a little area of rain in the morning, and then we're done uh, with the rain. But uh, we're going to get some heavy rain out of this, and we're going to get some strong winds. Let's see what the winds... And first of all, we'll look at the winds at the 850 level, so you can get an idea of the energy that's just above our heads. So you can see what happens. As it moves east, the winds get worse, uh, and particularly over Suffolk County. Uh, this is, again, at the 850 level, uh, but some of that's going to translate down to the surface. Um, and you can see that right here, and that's any shower or thunderstorm would help bring that wind down to the surface uh, and, uh, and cause, uh, cause possible power outages and uh, tree limbs to come down. Um, let's look at the NAM, three kilometer. So we're only looking at the high resolution models now. Uh, so you can see again, there is that strong wind. Uh, that's, that's the surface, and this is a little bit higher up. And you can see again that that area of purple is mainly over Long Island, particularly Suffolk County. Uh, and these are the higher winds aloft, but again, some of those could wind up reaching the surface in those cells. Uh, and then we finally lose the wind as we get later into the day. Uh, but the, the strong low-level jet has the potential for some strong winds tonight uh, with that low-level jet coming, coming across the area. Um, let's go to the National Weather Service, see if they've upgraded anything. Uh, all right, they, they have issued a high wind warning, it looks like, for areas to our east in southeast Massachusetts. I would think that we might see parts of Suffolk County included in this. They might wind up extending it a little further west. It would not surprise me at this point. Again, another look at the radar, um, and you can see here, again, uh, this heavy rain that will be moving into our area. So I'm going to try to keep you updated throughout the storm. I know it's late, uh, you know, but uh, when I get a chance, I will try to keep you updated about this. Uh, this will be a quick hitter, but you're going to wake up in the morning and you're going to see things uh, might be a little bit of a mess out there. So take care.